Beer's old school grounds near Bead is known for its very wide diversity of fungi. It also has the much more unusual slime moulds, which belong to the same group as the amoeba, single-celled organisms. So even this tapioca slime mould, which is the size of a dinner plate, is actually a single cell with millions of nuclei within it. Normally you wouldn't see them, they're within the wood or within the soil or the leaves, but it comes time for them to reproduce. They emerge, and all of that, which is one organism, is slowly moving across the surface. The stage that moves is called the plasmodial stage. It's this one is changing the plasmodial stage, which is white, into the athelial stage, which turns progressively dark brown and then to black. And the whole of this then turns into what looks like dust, but is in fact spores, and will then get blown away by the wind. Here's another one. This same species, this is still the tapioca slime mould, those slime trails are evidence of it moving. The whole single cell, that is all one cell, is spreading down the, the, the mosses towards the ground. It will probably stop or halfway down, at which point it will become the ethelial stage and convert itself into spores and blow away in the wind. Here's a more advanced one. This one here, though smaller, is at a more advanced stage. That will progressively darken until it's brown or black and blow away in the wind. Within spears we've had other examples of slime moulds. There's the wolf's blood slime mould and one that delights in the name of the dog sick slime mould as well. There's also one that looks like a version, a bit like a puffball in appearance. And although looking like a puffball, it is again another one of these slime moulds. This one has had slight damage that a plant's been attached to it. If looked at with a hand lens, they actually pulsate. What they're doing is they are moving the nutrients, because these are feeding on things like bacteria, they're moving the nutrients throughout the entire structure. It is able to sense where the food is and move towards it, the whole cell flowing in the direction where the most food is present.